Today is the day, Bella. Today is the day to move on. <laughs> it is time to get out of here. She doesn't look real enthused, does she? <laughs> it's, it's early and uh, bad weather is moving in and we're, uh, we're gonna get out of here. A bunch of us, everybody's kind of pretty much packed up. A couple of just last minute things this morning and we're gonna get on down out of this elevation. We're gonna drop at least 2,000 feet today. We might move on, depending on how things go, we might, uh, Bella and I anyhow, might continue on further and go an additional 2,000 feet. It'll seem like we've moved, we've gone backwards in time, back to summertime. <laughs> It'll be uh, near 80 degrees in the day and like upper 50s at nighttime. Uh, so that's uh, that's perfect weather for me. Uh, so we're kind of anxious to get going and uh, the heck with we're getting all bundled up on these cold mornings and the furnace running and all that stuff. Come on, Bella. Come on. You need to get out and uh, take care of some business this morning, don't you? Huh? Come on. Go take care of stuff. And this looks a little different over here. Uh, yeah, Terry and Scott, I think they just got to, they're all packed up and ready pretty much. They just got to put their slides in, hook the truck up, and I think put their, their rug and uh, uh, pumpkin's fence away. Just a couple of things this morning. That won't take long, but here's what looks different. Aja's RV usually sits here, and this is a view uh, that you just don't normally see. <laughs> so, uh, she's packed up. The, her rig's down there somewhere. She has the truck already hooked up. So she's about ready this morning. And uh, I think Jeff up there won't take him long. So I don't know what Rady's doing. But, uh, morning, Scott. Good morning, my friend. <laughs> How are you? Excellent. <laughs> when warmer weather, when we're headed towards warmer weather, I'm excellent. Damn right. <laughs> He's probably going to warm the truck up and get ready to back up and get all hooked up this morning how things go girl <laughs> huh think go did everything go okay ready <gasps> where's scott going he's just gonna warm up the diesel it takes a bit to warm up so. all right we don't have much left here to do i think we're good I don't have to warm the coachman up yet. No. What do you think? <laughs> Here, one thing I didn't do, I was going to, you know me, if you've been with the channel, you know I like to tinker with stuff. Uh, I was gonna try to start Old Panda up here. I thought, you know, if I got really bored, <laughs> I was gonna throw the uh, battery in it and top it off make sure it was charged up and uh, see if it would start I, I, I'm pretty sure I I know I could get it started and uh, but it smoked boy the smoke would roll out of the exhaust pipe because that the that's that old worn out engine it burns oil really bad but you know it turns out I didn't get that board after all so I didn't uh, I didn't bother with it but it had been a fun little yeah it'd been a fun little project and uh, let's see all right Moo, come here. Come here, girl. Come here, Moo. Come here, Moo. Come here, Moo. Are you ready to travel today? Huh? Are you are you ready to travel today? Ah. You haven't been on the road all summer. Ah. So we're gonna we're gonna get going. <laughs> good girl. Uh, good girl. I think we're ready. Scott and Terry are all hooked up. I got uh, sidetracked. Had a little project to do on uh, Panda after all. Switched a couple of solar wires around. And, uh, I think Scott and Terry, it's going to take them a little, little while to get out because the size of their rig, they have to go out a different way, which takes a little bit longer. So they're going to go ahead and get a head start. And uh, the coachman's warming up. Bella. 
<laughs> she says, well, we're going to go. Maybe we'll see horses. Maybe we'll see cows. I say, you like seeing cows, huh? Well, I do. I'll be looking. You're a good girl. <laughs> uh, we don't know how to get down. All right, we're going to warm up for just a minute, another minute here. The road out of here is so long and kind of bumpy. You really got to take your time. Just take it easy going out. Uh, but still, things tend to get uh, jostled around just a bit. So if we get out to the end of the road, we'll probably stop and just double go around, double check things. Make sure everything's uh, secure. I think I got things packed up pretty well. Yep, we're actually moving, girl. It is be time. <laughs> it is be time to go. Uh, and soon. Bye. Bye. Love you guys. I love you guys too. Be safe out there. All right. Enjoy the winter. Okay. Here's a no, no. Subtle, subtle, subtle. Here's a funny thing: is uh, Bella's all kind of whiny. She's excited. She don't know what's going on, but she's kind of whiny. But she's wagging her, she's wagging her little stub. I know she don't have a tail but she's wagging her little stub at the same time. So she's excited <laughs> that we're going somewhere, but she'll settle down in a minute. We'll, don't worry, we'll catch up to Terry and Scott. They're, they're up there ahead of us just a little bit. You settle, okay? Had a girl, had a girl. You set, settle it down, huh? <laughs> She'd be all right. Oops, wait a minute, I forgot something. I forgot, and it's only a matter of time. <laughs> I forgot to latch the refrigerator. There we go. And I put this lock up in here. The wardrobe likes to fly open from time to time. So there it goes, locked. All right. <laughs> and uh, I do have one for the freezer. I just didn't put it on because the freezer has never come open. And, but it's probably only a matter of time it will. I need to get a, I actually need to uh, dig a little bit of the seal out I put in here and put the put one on there too, but uh, it hasn't been a problem yet. I, I need to get to that. I don't know why I just didn't do it. All right, we can get back underway. Oops. <laughs> All right, we're not on the main road. There's 64 heading south to uh, Williams, Arizona. And this little bunch of stores right here, I'm gonna tell you what, I won't miss the prices here. Yeah, the gas is a little bit more expensive, but what is it this week? $4.59 a gallon. <laughs> it's, a, it's a bit more expensive. But if you buy anything in the store, say like a package of Oreo cookies, and it's like $8. $8 for Oreo cookies. So you run into that sort of thing. So, uh, yeah, you try to stock up when you go to the big, go to Flagstaff or Williams. Williams is even a little bit more expensive, but Flagstaff, you kind of get back to normal prices. Anyway, we're going to get down the road here a little ways. All right, we've made it down about 30 miles south to the junction of Interstate 40. And... Uh, we, we need to go west towards Kingman, so Kingman, Arizona, and that is about 2,000 or so uh, a drop in elevation. I think it takes about two hours, give or take, uh, roughly to get there. It, it will certainly be warmer. I'm excited to be going towards warmer temperatures. I am. But so instead of getting on the interstate back there, well, this road's a little rough. I do need to. I do want to run into. Williams here and then we'll get back on down at the next exit it kind of circles around but wow this road's like really bad Ooh, this is where you hear this is bad enough this is where you hear pots and pans rattling <laughs> um, all right all right that's better uh, I want to go down to Williams here and stop at the car wash and it's the weirdest car wash I've only ever seen it uh, I was here two years ago, used it. There's only one 
bay open. Out of six or eight bays, there's one bay open. And then when we were down here getting, uh, getting some, making a store run down here, we went past it. And again, there's only one bay open. I don't, I don't know why that is, but hopefully that one bay is open uh, today because I want to spray, you know, some of the stuff we got, uh, some of the stuff that got splashed up on the coachman. We'll give her a quick cleaning. And hopefully she's not back in that kind of a mess uh, for, again for a while. Williams, uh, 1881. Oops, uh, did I go the right way? Yeah, we'll be all right. Oh yeah, this is the right way. We stopped here uh, in Williams. The, the main street here has all those, you may see them before, all the little shops and about 66 type stuff. But we stopped at this little Circle K. Now, I would never would have attempted this in the Bounder because it's kind of, it's, and you gotta get on, <laughs> you know, it's not like one of those bigger, more spacious, easy to move around uh, travel centers along the interstate. Some of these ones in town are pretty tight, but it's pretty easy to manage these things in a coachman it's it's small enough uh yeah but here it's uh 399 that's a little better than other places in the area and yeah i'm sure i'm sure it's well over four dollars a gallon when we get back out to the interstate uh, we gotta stop at loves i think and take care of tanks and uh get propane so i'm sure that price is gonna jump back up yeah i just noticed on the side of this building it says uh Williams was the last town passed by Interstate 40 in October 13th, 1984. So, for what that's worth, a little fun fact. Alright, let's see if there's anything interesting while we're in town. Well, there's at least one thing. The old Italian bist bistro is, uh, has some old gas pumps out front. I don't know if I can remember where the car wash is at. <laughs> oh, here's this information center here. Uh, the old train station. Right there in front of us. Alright, I might got lucky. Actually, the car wash, it looked like there was three bays open. <laughs> All right, we're just gonna give her a quick cleaning up a little bit. Take the next left, then your destination will be on the right. I just tried calling back, nobody answered. Oh, they were in here for a good clean up shit. Went in to get a corn dog or whatever the hell. Did you, did, you, did you go to the fresh washer? Yeah. And got gas and got propane. Okay. I just need the dump. What? Right there. Yeah. Talk about good timing. <laughs> It's a good thing I was ahead a little bit. I, that time at the car wash, the time I got done there and I stopped it. I stopped at uh, Mobile and got propane. Went up there and got, uh, dumped the tanks where it, they just finished. They were just getting ready to pull out. So I got my tanks taken care of and, and, and here we are, and away we go. All right, up here I think we can have a brake, yeah, a brake check area. Trucks, vehicles, and trailers. Use brake check area, quarter mile. Oh, that must mean there's a big hill coming up. <laughs> Our first major drop in elevation, I believe. Yeah, we're still at about 6,000 feet. We're, uh, 
but we'll see. It's going to get warmer here pretty quickly. I forget what that sign said back there. Eight, uh, six percent grade for eight miles, or I think, yeah, I think it's six percent grade for eight miles. That's uh, we'll do really good on gas here for a little bit. <laughs> so that is uh, Terry and uh, Scott just ahead of us, and then Jeff is ahead of them, and then Aja is just up ahead of them. So just the four vehicles today. We have decided to take a little detour through Seligman. Uh, Did you have a spike compartment up there by your front door? I don't. No, I don't think Aja. I'm. Which I find surprising. I don't think Aja has been through Seligman. And Terry and Scott. Have, um, and Terry and Scott have not been through Seligman. And it's to me in this area, it's one of the better. Um, you know, Route 66 type stops. Oh, cattle guard. Alright, we're gonna have to, we gotta pull over. Or somebody might possibly have a compartment door open that came open or was left open. So, we're gonna stop and check that real quick. Alright. Well, it was nothing major. I think Elijah's uh, refrigerator uh, cover. I don't know. We'll find out. They're real universal and easy to find, so that won't be hard, hard to find the replacement. No, I thought I just didn't get before, but the intent is All right. All right, there's, uh, you know, some of these little buildings along here were old businesses. Uh, we'll have to turn around and come back. But down at this end, uh, hang on, what's down here? I forget. Yeah, there's some malt shops, ice cream shops, uh, old motels, gas stations. Uh, just some pretty cool stuff here. Here's some things on the right. What's on the left? Supai Motel, they can see. And uh, what's here on the right? Now serving Route 66 coffee. Oh, there's the copper, the copper cart kind of old vehicles over there uh, the rusty boat on the right oh, there's an old brothel that's uh, on the right with they got mannequins out there yeah and this is about the end so yeah this is the end of the town where it goes up to the other exit so whatever you want to do good idea what's in town here oh that I was thinking, yeah, the place here on the right, the malt shop, or the burger joint, whatever, that's the place that has a bunch of yummies, but the Roadkill Cafe, I mean, any of these places are yummy places. I just mentioned those in case anybody was hungry. I, I haven't eaten, but I, if, if nobody else is hungry, I'll just make a sandwich real quick when we stop, but I, I need to eat something. Well, it's as good a place as any to turn around. This is perfect for all of us. <laughs> 
this is one of my favorite little places is this, this burger joint here on the left the snow cap the snow cap uh, malt shop and that's a pretty cool little antique store and uh, angel and Vil uh, Vilma's that's a that was actually on the history channel or something once upon a time old motels here. We're, I'm gonna catch this brothel. Okay. Here, check out. Look for the mannequins on top of the roof, like on the second story. Oh, actually, down below, too. There's mannequins that are. I don't know if the sun's gonna be. show that very well. It could make, make that out very well. Looks like we've run into a little bit of a problem with the coachman. Uh, I don't know if Aja or Scotty, Scotty noticed it. You just it, it on that one and it seems to be still leaking in the same area. And said, well, it's gonna keep leaking. It'll keep, it'll be drip, drip, drip from now until I fix it. Drip, drip, drip. So Scotty noticed, uh, you were over there standing talking and he started glancing over here and, and noticed a uh, bit of a puddle underneath the coachman and we got to looking and it uh, looks like the water pump is starting to leak. So uh, I'm gonna have to limp this thing somewhere. I'm not gonna do it here in Seligman. I don't think they have a, uh, I, I think I can limp it to the next, our next destination. Uh, I'm gonna top it off with water and I'm gonna leave the radiator cap, cap loose so it doesn't build pressure. And it's a good thing we're not going up in elevation or it's a hot day we're going down it's a cool day we're going down in elevation just going to try to nurse it to the next place we're going to be out for a day or two or three and dig into it go to the local auto parts store get a water pump whatever else i need uh, i already have new belts and hoses and clamps and everything else but i'm probably gonna need to pick up a water pump we the joys of traveling in a 35 year old rv Hey, but the best part is when you're done, this thing's going to be so spanking brand new. Oh, I know, man. It don't get any better than that, right? And you're going to know everything well, yeah. about it. So. You want to hold that up a minute? Absolutely. Thank you. Uh, I didn't put this. They're going to stay. You hold that square. The water pump's as minute as it gets. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. It's just going to take some surgery getting into it where it's at. All right, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to do this. Uh, I'm going to put the camera down, I think. And Here, it might be easier. Here. Okay, how about... This is video worthy. <laughs> it is. I mean, how about putting some video? Maybe putting that. Let's hold it up closer for a nice okay. shot. Huh? So you can see the water go uh, in. There we go. It's like waterfall. Oh. Let's just pretend we're seeing we're seeing some nice waterfalls somewhere. Okay. Oh, uh, the relaxing sound of trickling, uh, uh, babbling brook, or just me babbling. <laughs> ah, let's take an... It's funny because the temperature gauge really didn't. You know, it wasn't spiking but, or anything. But you know what? Sometimes they stay cool because they're out. Well, let's make a... a right. Here's the important part of what we feed this coachman. Hang on. What? See that? Spring water. <laughs> which, Only the best for the coachman. Which is actually coming out of my tank, which is actually really city water in a spring water jug. <laughs> All right. We're going to get this in. I'm going to get some more water. We're going to get topped off. We're going to decide where it is we're going, I think. And I'm, that's what I'm going to head for. Shut her off and... Get on with we'll take things. Our time. We're going yeah. downhill at least. Yeah. Well, we're about ready to yeah. leave. We're just gonna go ahead and try to make it to Havasu because it's just a better place. We, one thing we've been there many times, so we kind of have a good feel for where we'll be camping at. It's okay if this is torn down for a day or two if we have to wait for parts or something like that. We know what where we stand there. The place in Kingman we haven't been before, so we don't know. There could be rangers coming by and just looking, and we don't know what the surroundings are like. And and uh, there's not as many. There are a good many stores in, in Kingman for sure, but have a suit. We know everything's at. There's got to be a, three or four, 
five auto parts stores <laughs> in every hardware store and home in home improvement stores and tractor supply um, uh, and everything's real handy to where we camp at the Walmart's right there uh, you know a mile away and, uh, and it's only 50 more miles I think it was 75 miles to Kingman we need to go uh, it's, only, it's 50 more to uh, good good on the Havasu and being this is kind of a drip a slow drip I think it'll be fine. I'm going to keep an eye on the temperature gauge and uh, just kind of go for it. The, you know, on the plus side, we are going down in elevation. I, I probably already said that. So the coachman won't be working as hard and uh, it's, it's not a hot day. So uh, uh, we'll see. We'll get on with it and, and get on with it. Oh, I made nice fresh coffee for the trip. I'll be all right. <laughs> Grumble, grumble. I don't want to work. I don't want to work on the coachman. Could be worse, right? I, I'm, sure, I, I'm sure I have all the tools for the job. This won't be my first. Uh, this won't be my first rodeo. I've replaced you know, several water pumps over the years, and this is an old school thing, so it's nothing overly complicated with complicated systems and stuff. It'll be pretty straightforward for me. It will be all right. <laughs> Just don't feel like it. All right, let's see if everybody else is ready here. What, what do you think, girl? Bella, 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 Bella. <laughs> we just stopped in Kingman. <laughs> we got uh, 56 miles, in. we're a little over halfway there. And uh, somebody needed to take one of those necessary breaks. And while we stopped, we thought, well, we better check the water to see how it's doing. And it took almost another gallon. So it took two gallons, but we're over halfway there. It took, a, it took one gallon this time. No, it's full again. We should make it the rest of the way. It doesn't get any worse. You ready? There's Terry and Aja and she's pulling out. I guess that's my cue. I'm kind of leading the way. 